Hi guys, welcome back. Thank you for coming back to tune in to Hang With T, aka known as Tina. All right, so I am back with another video. Today, I'm gonna be talking about some cookware. Um, I'm gonna be doing a review on the, let me see if I can turn it around. On the Gotham Steel Diamond Non-Stick Aluminum Cookware Set. 10 pieces and over here it reads non-stick ceramic no oil or butter needed okay and if you see here at the bottom it has like a 10 year warranty okay so before i kind of get into the video y'all first of all i do want to thank y'all so much for coming back to tune in and as always to watch my videos i'm very appreciative of that because i know Y'all can click on any other video on YouTube, but you decided to click on this one and I do appreciate it. I don't take it for granted. And I also wanna thank you again to my new subscribers. And if y'all don't mind, I would greatly appreciate it if others would comment, rate, like, and sh uh, subscribe. I wanted to go ahead and add that in there because I know the last time when I did a video earlier this week, I forgot to mention that and that was my fault. So I do apologize. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to mention before I got started with the video. Oh, the other thing is, um, this is not a sponsored video. I purchased this with my own money, so it wasn't like Gotham sent me a free box and say, hey, do a, video, or do a video on this. So that's not the case at all. So I did purchase this. And the other thing is, happy Sunday, y'all. I hope y'all are doing well. Y'all are surviving in this heat. It is hot out here, hot outside. So, you know, try to do what you can to stay cool and stay hydrated, okay? So, I hope y'all are doing great. I hope, you're every, I hope your weekend was excellent. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. I don't want to make it too long. So, I did make some notes, um, take some notes. Sorry, not make some of I did write down some things that I wanted to talk about because I didn't want to forget. The first thing is I want to kind of talk about the importance of what we cook our food in. Now, you know, it's not just only important what we put in our bodies, but it's very important what we cook our food in. And a lot of times we don't always think about that. And I'm going to kind of use myself as an example and i do apologize normally my videos most of them have been short but this one here probably will be a little bit more lengthier so but i'm trying to make a point and i feel like it's going to help somebody so yeah and i do understand like i say we all in different walks of life and everybody's financial situation is different so i get that as well but this set here i'm just going to tell you I, I think I placed my order online, I did. This set, just to go ahead and put it out here, it was like $120 is what I paid. Now, I know some of y'all may be thinking, whoo, $120? Like, why I need to pay $120 when I can get a set for like $25, $30 or $40 or maybe $50 the most? I don't know. I know, I understand you can go in stores like what, Ross, DD Discount, even Walmart, even the Family Dollar, because it makes it, it makes me think about in my 20s when I probably purchased like my first cookware set. I think I paid, what, about $25? And you know, you don't know no better. You just think, hey, this is just something I need to cook my food in. But you don't think about a lot of stuff. But as you get older, you learn things, you know, you know better, you do better, right? But what y'all don't realize, some of that stuff, don't get me wrong, and this is not to shame anyone. This is not to, you know, make anybody look bad if you have purchased stuff, you know, from other retail stores. Because personally, I've done it myself. But if you notice over a period of time the color starts to change in that stuff not only does it start to change you may notice things like when you're cooking your food sticks or you may have to get one of them scrub pads and try to you know get the food to come up or this is what i used to do old school back in the day when i couldn't get food to come up when i was ready to clean up the kitchen the dishes and stuff 
I would literally have to put dish detergent and water and put it on the stove so it'll help kind of cook to make the food come up. That's some of the stuff that I used to have to do in the past when I would get it from, you know, get my pots and pan from like the Family Dollar or um, Walmart or whatever the case may be. But this one here, this, there's an anointing on this. Now look, <laughs> this one here, this is a game changer right here. Sorry, my nose itching. This is a game changer right here. I'm serious. And that's why I say this video is not sponsored. I'm just, you know, giving y'all my honest feedback. Okay, so kind of how I was introduced to Gotham. I don't know if y'all ever heard of Gotham Steel, but I think I used to see commercials on the TV. But when I purchased this set, I received like an email, something that just came on my email and I just happened to click on it. But before I made my purchase with this set, I had ordered an air fryer from them. That was my very first purchase from them. And that was probably about, that was like back in 2020, my air fryer. So that was probably about, probably about three years ago, right? So, and I do apologize, my air fryer is at, at one of my um, other properties. I don't have it here to where I can show you the air fryer. But I will show you this. And I will, you know, comment below if you want me to do a review on the air fryer. And I, I probably will at some point. It's just right now I don't I don't have it with me. So hold on. I'm gonna be kind of moving around, getting up and down. I'm gonna show you when I made my purchase with my air fryer and what came with it free. So give me just a second. You see this little, oh, sorry, sitting on my hair. Ooh. Okay, so you see this little pan? It's a little egg. It's a little skillet. It's cute, isn't it, y'all? It's so cute. This is the bottom of it. You see the logo, Gotham, or whatever. And this is the inside of this pan. Okay, this is like an egg fryer pan or skillet. I mean, you probably don't have to, you know, just cook eggs in only, but... This is what I've used it for mostly to fry eggs. Okay, I don't know what they make, you know, this stuff out of. I don't know. But if you notice on the box where it says non-stick ceramic, no oil or butter needed. Now, this pan didn't come with the set that I ordered. Okay, this one came with my air fryer purchase. Okay, it was free. Now, let me tell y'all something. I have personally used this pan and they are not lying when they say non-stick ceramic because I have fried eggs with very to little oil or no oil at all. And mostly what I use, like I say, I don't, I don't fry a lot of foods, tell you the truth. I really don't, nothing like I used to in the past, but I'm going to show you some stuff that I do use because like I say, I'm trying to be more self-conscious you know what i eat i'm just trying to improve in that area if that makes sense so let me get up again let me go in my pantry and i'm going to kind of show y'all what i mainly use you know like the times when i have fried my eggs or whatever the case may be i'll just use that as an example give me just a sec Okay, so most of, like I said, I don't, I don't really eat a lot of, you know, fried foods and stuff, but I'm going to kind of show y'all. I'm trying to make room over here. Okay, this is what I use when I fry foods. Well, I should say the foods that I fry, this is what I use. Now, if you go in Walmart, you will probably see this, but it says avocado oil spray delicate chemical and propellant free so i don't know what it is about this stuff and it says 100 percent um pure oil non-aerosol or whatever but i absolutely love this stuff now i'm not gonna lie i think i paid the you know stuff just and went up ain't food and honey don't that's a separate video right there 
So this stuff, I think about five, six dollars a can, seriously. But it lasts me a while because like I say, I don't I don't fry a lot of food, you know, I don't really fry a lot of foods. And this is what I use when I, you know, cook in my air fryer. And most of the things that I've cooked in my air fryer is like okra. I love okra. I love it fried, I love it boiled. And something else I cook in my air fryer, like fish. That's another thing that I, I cook in my air fryer. So what I do is, you know, shade up real good and just, you know, spray the little pan. I have to really show you. And I know I'm kind of going off in a different avenue, but y'all bear with me. I'm going to venture back over here. But I'm trying to get to a point. You can, you know, it doesn't, if you want to use oil, because I know that's what we're accustomed to when we're frying. So it's almost like, wow, you mean I don't have to use oil? No, you don't. Not with these. And I love that. But when I have fried eggs, just to kind of test, you know, between the bowl, frying it with oil and frying it without. It on, just, just, just a little bit. It doesn't take much. And when I tell you that egg is not going to stick, it will not stick. Now, I will tell you this because y'all know I like to be honest and, you know, straightforward. Now, you see these two little silver things here over here in the corner. Now, your egg or the food may possibly stick on there a little bit. I'm not going to lie. It's happened to me several times. Even when I've sprayed oil right there, I don't know what it is, but it's not to the point where you know it's just hard to come up with you're gonna have to let it soak and all that stuff no it'll come out but but as far as like in the pan itself around the perimeter at the bottom no it does not stick it's just for some reason here you know on the silver part it sticks okay so when i got that the little skillet this little skillet that came with the air fryer i was like wow i don't know what it is about these pans but i really like it and so I had received an email from them, and this is how I found out about the um, cookware set. Now, this is a 10-piece. Yeah, you see the number up here? This is a 10-piece what I have, but they have bigger sets. They did. Now, I started off with a 10-piece because I just felt like I just didn't need, like, a whole lot, you know, and I just kind of wanted to test the water to see, you know, if it was something that I it was going to like. So I just started off. It's like a 10-piece, but they do have larger sets or whatever. So, yes, this was $120. Now, I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I kind of wanted to touch on before I kind of go into, go into, like, the pros and the cons? Because that's what I'm getting ready to go into now. Okay, but I just thought about something. It's kind of like what I was saying in the beginning before I went to go pick up the air fryer. You know, a lot of times we... We don't think about, you know, what we cook our food in. But there have been times in the past, like I said, where you've been using those pots. I think, like I said, I got my first set from, like, the Family Dollar. And, like I said, over a period of time, that stuff will start to, like, change in color. Or it'll start, like, like I don't know, like, the bottom will start, like, getting scratchy looking or something. And you think about it. You put in your oil, now this is something, grapeseed oil, this is something that's good as well to like, um, my sister had mentioned this to me, um, grapeseed oil is really good. Not only is it good to cook with, but it's also good for your hair. Well, you know, I, like I said, I've personally used it. Not this one, because it's, I don't, you know, dib and dab, like, okay, I'm going to use this bottle, you know what I'm saying, using for the kitchen and bath. But what I'm saying, I have used grapeseed oil on my hair. So it's really good, you know, for things like that as well. But what I'm saying, if you don't, you know, if you don't know when that stuff start coming off at the bottom in the pan and you, you know, you cooking with that stuff, guess what? That stuff is coming off in your food. It's coming off in your food and that's not good. You talking about like toxins and stuff like that. And like I said, again, you know, everybody's situation is different. I know everybody's saying, well, I can't afford to pay no $120. You know, I don't have that kind of money. And I'm going to tell you another pro about that. But yeah, just kind of be mindful of that, y'all. Like when you're cooking and stuff and you see the color start. Matter of fact, let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. Let me put this away and let me get something else. I'm going to show you. I'm going to 
to show you a pot. I think this is one of the sets that I got from the Family Dollar. Now, I don't know if y'all can really see. You see like the color or something starting Now, Let me just say this right now. Disclaimer. I don't cook in this anymore. Now, I used to in the past years ago. What I did was I threw all that stuff away, donated it or whatever the case may be. But I did save this because, and the reason why I saved this one is because sometimes I'll make up like a hair mask or something that goes on my hair. You know, just like different ingredients like avocado or whatever. You know, like a hair mask. Just different things that I make. So, I put it in this. So, but this is not anything that I cook with or cook in anymore. But I'm just showing you an example how the color, and you probably can't see it really good on camera, but, excuse me, sorry, I'm burping, y'all. But, like, how the color, even I've had, like, frying pans and skillets, and, you know, it just look all, you know, scratchy or rough at the bottom, and I'm like, you know, you sitting there stirring stuff, and I know y'all, I've been there, I don't know about y'all, but I'm, I just kind of wanted to give you an example of what I was talking about. Okay, so let's get back to this. Let's get back. I'm going to talk about the pros and the cons with this, okay? So let me put this up. Put it right there for now. Okay, so first, let's talk about the pros. I want to make sure I cover it. Um, I'm just checking out. Checking out that email. Okay. All right. So I'm going to give y'all a couple pros. These are my top three. And I'm going to kind of elaborate on, you know, the first one I would say the pros is it's a 10 year warranty on the entire set. You know, I had to just stop and just let that soak in for a minute. Let, let me just, let me read that again to y'all. <laughs> a 10-year warranty on the entire set. If you don't believe me, call customer service. They will tell you. If you don't believe me, there it is on the box. Now, y'all may not can. I really don't want to move, but it's on the box. It's a 10-year warranty. Now, as far as like what the warranty covers, I don't, I don't know in detail, but I would think, and I don't want to start naming stuff, you know, I kind of had an instance, so I know it's, it's legit and it works, but I don't know. You don't have to do your due diligence and ask them, but they do cover with a 10 year warranty. Prime example, when I initially got, originally got this set here, one of the pots, matter of fact, let me show you, <laughs> you know, cause I like to have proof. Hold on, man. Be back. All right, so, um, oh, here it is. Prime example. Okay, so I had to grab this one out of the dishwasher. When I originally ordered this set, right, this is one of the pots. Um, average size pot where you can, I'm, I'm not going to lie, y'all, when I tell y'all, I'm telling you, this right here, it's like, it's one of those things, I'm not going to lie, I'm just going to be honest with y'all, the pros outweigh the cons, I'm just going to just go ahead and just throw it out there, and it's one of those things like, oh my God, where have you been all my life? Stop being silly, y'all. But okay, when I originally got this set right, this pot, it had some scratches in it. I know y'all probably can't see this, but I see it. I see it. It had, it was kind of, I mean, it wasn't real bad, but it was noticeable. I'm like, wait a minute, I didn't pay for a brand new set. Um, let me get on the phone and call these people. Y'all done sent me a set. These pot, this pot here. Now the rest of them weren't like that. It was just this one, and I hate y'all can't see it on camera, but it has some scratches in it over there in the corner. And I got on, you know what? And the customer service rep, she was like, "Okay, Miss Tina, you know." She said, "No problem." She said, "We'll get you another replacement out." She said, "If you don't mind, can you just take a picture 
of the problem area and I'm going to give you the email address and we'll get you all taken care of. Very, she was very nice to me, you know. So it was nothing. You know what? I had my pot and you know what they told me? I didn't, and I didn't have to send this one back. Now, let's say they didn't change their rules, but I know, now, like I said, this was, this wasn't even 10 years or whatever the case may be. This was when I first got the set and I, one came, you know, damaged or whatever. So that was it. I took a picture of it and they sent me another pot. Now, it wasn't like it was there like two to three days or even a week. I, a week. I think it took a little time for me to receive it, but nonetheless, I did get my replacement and they let me keep the old one. So that's a prime example of what I'm talking about, a 10-year warranty. Let me put this back because it is clean. Let me put it back in the dishwasher. Hold on. Oh, you know what? Let's put it on the counter be all right. Okay, so that's one of my top that I love, the 10-year warranty. Let me tell you something, honey. I'm sitting on this hair. That sold me right there, 10-year warranty. You can't even go in Walmart and get a set and you're going to get a 10-year one. Show me. I don't even think, do they still have Sears around? You know, Sears, you sell stuff. Do they have a 10-year warranty in there? Really? If they do, somebody comment below and let me know. 10-year warranty on the entire set. 10 years. That is a long time. Okay, the number two, I would say, is my top pro. What? top pro i would say is the quality the quality the quality is the bomb i love it i'm telling you it's a nice beautiful set and like i say i am gonna open the box and show y'all the quality is everything and let me see because i didn't put that back in the dish right hold on let me show y'all something and it was, oh my god okay if you notice like i said you saw it on the skillet it has the logo here and it also, and this is the one, like I said, at the bottom. Oh, Lord, this hell. Okay. You see the logo here, and it also has their logo back here as well. Got the, yes. Okay. So, I want to show y'all. That's the number two, I would say, is the quality. Quality, non-stick, that sold me. So, yeah. Okay, number three, I would have to say, it brings me back to what I mentioned in the beginning about the price being $120. So like I say, the 10 piece, now when I ordered it, and this was a few months back, I don't know, you know, what the price is now, but it was $120. Now keep in mind, they do have larger sets. And the larger they are, the more, you know, of course the price is gonna increase. We expect it, right? So, but I will tell you one thing that I like about Gotham. Gotham has a payment plan. And it was the same way when I ordered my, yeah, my air fryer. They had a, a payment plan. And I'm assuming they still do. I don't know. Now, they do give you the option. You don't have to, you know, accept the payment plan. You could just pay it, you know, outright. And I think the air fryer, how much was the air fryer? Was it like... I don't know, y'all. I think the ever I was like, was it eighty dollars? I don't know. I don't want to start lying about that. I don't remember, but it was the ever I don't think it was like one hundred twenty dollars, like the set was. But yeah, for those of you that are saying, you know, Tina, I would love to have this set, but I don't have one hundred twenty dollars. I hadn't even paid the rent. The light bill got to be paid. You know, it's hot out there. The AC coming on. I get it. You know, but. These good people, my nose itching. These good people will work with y'all, honey. You know, and what happens is, of course, you pay with a card. You pay, if you do want to accept the payment plan, they'll draft $20, you know, for your first payment. And then every month, I think it was like $19.95 or $20. And then, you know, until you get it paid off. So, like I said, you know, $20, okay, $120. I think the shipping was free. I want to say it was. So that's what, six payments? Six times two is 12. So yeah, six payments. Now, like I say, you don't you don't have to do the payment plan, but that is an option if you wanted to go that route. So yeah, 10-year warranty, um, the quality, 
and the payment plan. Those were like the top pros. Now, when it comes to like, let me see, make sure I ain't leaving out there. When it comes to like the cons, you know, it made me think about when I um did that video this week. I'm just going to be completely honest with y'all. I really can't think of a con on this. I'm, I'm just going to, hey, you know me, I'm, I'm going to give it to you straight. You know, like I say, let me just remind y'all, disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video. Now, they do want to send me some, oh, you know, hey, but let me stop. <laughs> okay, but yeah, um, the cons, the only con that I could probably think of just right off the bat, I would probably have to say as far as the shipping and what i mean by that um now the air fry and i keep re you know reflecting back on the air fry because that was my very first order purchase with them now the air fry i want to say i may have received the air fry in maybe about a week i don't know i think it came it was delivered by fedex ups one of those you know carriers or something like that it, it may have been it wasn't like two weeks or something like that anything like that so now the cookware set i don't remember y'all i don't want to start lying but that's the only thing i when i say the shipping i don't mean it's going to take them two to three weeks to get your stuff i don't think like no two weeks or nothing or a month not you know nothing to that degree or whatever the case may be and so you know that's the only thing you know it may take about a week maybe a little more than a week now i know the replacement it it took a little time now i think it was i know i didn't get it in a week's time or even two or three days so it may have taken a little longer than a week i don't know but like i say i did get it it wasn't like i had to wait a month so that's the only con that i can just honestly think of just right off the top of my head when it comes to this set honestly seriously you know but yeah, so let me make sure. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking on, just make sure I covered everything. Cause you know, how sometimes you get on here. I don't know about everybody else, you know, YouTube is whatever, and you just get to blab me. It's like, oh, I forgot to mention that. You know, I forgot to say this. So, but yeah, as far as like the price, you know, y'all don't judge me for this, but I, I'm really about to go to this. You know, some people might be saying, ooh, $100 to a why would I pay this? But y'all, let me tell you something. You have money for what it is you really want. And I'm just, and like I say, and some may not, some people may be less fortunate, but I, you know, not trying to be funny. Nowadays, you can't even go buy a wig, honey, for $120. What these units, what? <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh now, y'all, but... I'm silly. That's why I love that fun. But honey, you can't even you can't even buy a wig. These units now what about ooh thousand? You know what? I was looking at some on Yahoo. It was trending or something. I don't know, and we kind of off the subject a little bit. But I want to say one of these celebrities paid about five thousand dollars for a wig. Um, you know, hey, you got it. You hey, no shame. You know, I'm not. You know, like shame you or judging you but i'm just saying what is 120 dollars? you you okay what about some of y'all gentlemen out there you probably can't even get no rims or a sound system for 120 dollars you know what i'm saying like i'm i'm just saying you know or anything else you know um i don't know i just thought about that you know a wig or whatever i don't know whatever you know people are spending their money or even going to a football game you go to an NFL game, show me where you can get some tickets for $120. Comment below, because I want to know. Because I want to go. Now, <laughs> let me stop being silly, y'all. But seriously, though, that was the other thing that I was going to mention. And some of y'all may be saying, well, Tina, you know what? I, girl, you know, this does sound good. It sounds like a winner, but I don't cook. I don't know how to cook. Okay, you know, well, this is just my opinion. I think it will make a great gift. You know, I would, somebody would have bought this for me. Oh, thank you. 
Oh, thank you. You are so kind. But serious, because I said I was going to get my sister one because she likes to cook as well. Or whatever. It's a nice, like, think about somebody moving into a house or a new home or whatever. It doesn't have to be a new home, but just, you know, they just need a new set. Like, mom, you go in your mama kitchen like, mom, oh, my God, these pots have really had it. When you... When, when last time you bought some pots or a loved one, relatives or whatever, your girlfriend, your fiance, your wife, you know, or it doesn't have to be gender specific. It's not only just for women. There are some men out here that absolutely love to cook and they are great cooks. Some of them can cook just as better than a woman. You know what I'm saying? So you might be saying, well, it sounds good, but I don't know how to cook. I don't cook. You know, or just get it for yourself like I did. I got it for myself. I said, you know what? This will be a great investment. And you know what? I don't regret buying it, purchasing it. No, I don't. 10-year warranty too? Oh, let me just remind y'all of that. So, yeah. But I think it'll make a great gift. Like I say, you deserve to treat yourself. And that's what I said. I was going to invest in and get me a set or whatever. Okay, so now that we covered all of that, it's itching. Let me go ahead and show y'all these pots. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to be getting up some, y'all. Be getting up some. Make sure I know y'all say, well, T, we don't want to see your behind. I know, I get it. I get it. I'm trying to open up one side. Hold on, y'all. Excuse me just a second. Why I can't get this one side open? Now, you know, this is crazy because I literally just had this box open there it is i had to pull the other thing oh lord help me help me god okay so let's see what's inside this good pot honey this this good box okay so i'm gonna show you the skillet or whatever you want to call it frying pan you oh my god isn't it gorgeous okay gorgeous honey beautiful and let me just tell you about the air fryer because you had a whole set just going off in your kitchen the air fryer is the same like gold tone now it's black and it has like some gold trim around it's it's pretty it really is it's, it's nice it's nice but this is the skillet so all right so let me just go ahead, because I'm not going to sit here and probably just show y'all every little piece, 10 pieces. Now, if you look on the box, okay, now it's only one top. Excuse me, hold on, let me look at something, y'all. Hold on for me, because I don't, you know, I don't like to tell lies. Hold on. No, stop. Don't y'all think I'm trying to sell y'all no hype, man. Not that today. Okay, now let me show you one of the nice things that I really like. Let me go ahead and show you. Hold on for a second. Okay. Oh, boy, I just dropped thing. Okay, let me show y'all some. Another thing that comes with this. A steamer. I don't know if you can see it on the box, this little silver thing or stainless steel looking thing. It's a steamer, like what you cook and steam your vegetables in. And I want to say this is the lid. I haven't used the steamer, and I'm surprised I haven't, but I will be using it. I will be using I want to say this is the lid for the steamer, so it's real neat how the steamer works. Let me get the big pot, and I'm going to show y'all how the steamer works. And this is what, what it looks like, the steamer. I have not used it. This is the bottom of it. This is the inside. So like I say, you put your vegetables in it and, you know, let them steam. And this is the, I want to say this is the lid for it here. And, but let me show y'all kind of how it works. I know y'all like, oh my gosh, she's not extra right in my mouth. But hold on, let me, let me get the big pot and kind of show y'all what I'm talking about. I hope I ain't getting so mixed up. And then again, you know what? Lord help us. Okay, so let me, 
Okay. This is just the lid. Let me go ahead and show y'all. You know what? Oh, this is a good set, y'all. Like, you know what? Oh, honey, yes, this is a good set. Let me, you know, I thought I just had, but you right. You right. So, you know what? I got two frying pans. That was the first one that I showed you a few minutes ago. That was like a larger one here. But if you look here, isn't it gorgeous? Okay. Oh, Tina. <laughs> okay. Let me show y'all the smaller skillet. It's cute. I mean, it's not small like the air fryer, but isn't that what? Oh, girl, yes. Yes, I love it. I love it. And I'm going to tell y'all something, too. Girl, I'm, oh, I don't know why I'm talking like I'm talking to my sister or somebody. But it's, it's pretty, though. Let me just tell y'all something. This is something else that came to mind. This is the smaller skillet. The other one was larger than that one. And these are the tops that go to, like, these pots here. But hold on. I need to tell y'all something. I just thought about something else. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, and this is another little, 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 little pot. A little, um, what do you call it? Um, the little lid. Okay, but let me show y'all some. And here are maybe some type of instructions. Oh, oh, see? You see what I'm saying? Thank you, Lord, for the proof. 10-year limited warranty. So, like I say, they got all that good stuff in there. Okay, but let me show y'all something. My nose is itching, y'all. Okay, hold on for a sec, because I got another box on here. I had to take some of the stuff out, because I didn't want to be lifting all this stuff. Hold on for a minute, y'all. I think I told y'all in the last video, I just had surgery uh, a few months ago, so I'm trying not to be, you know, doing a lot of lifting, doing the most, you know what I'm saying? So, this is another... This is like a bigger pot or whatever you want to call it, um, you know, to cook your vegetables in or whatever, you know. So this is like, let's see, it's this size here. Okay, now where is the big one? Because that's what I want. Okay, and I'm trying to show y'all something. And here, let me just go ahead and show y'all while I got it. This is the replacement. You know, I told you when I emailed them good people and I say, hey, y'all sent me one of them pots was scratched up, marked up. This is the replacement. And do you see any scratches? Well, I'm y'all may not can, but I don't know. This is the replacement that they sent me. No scratches. Okay. All right. So let me let me show you the bigger one. Hold on. Hold on for a minute. Yeah, no scratches. Okay. Because I'm trying to prove a point. Okay, so let me show y'all this big one. This is the bigger pot that I was telling you about. Okay. And as y'all can see, I have not had to use a lot of this stuff. And I'm going to tell you why I have not. Because you probably was like, okay, if you ordered this a couple months ago, ma'am, you, you sure you using this stuff? Yeah, I mean, you, I'm going to tell you, this is just me. You know... <laughs> When it's just you, I guess what I'm saying, I've not had to use a lot of this stuff, but it will be used, if that makes sense. So, this is the big, isn't this beautiful? Are, are you kidding me right now? This is absolutely gorgeous, honey. And look at this, the Gotham. Uh, what? Beautiful, good size. You see, oh my God, the quality is everything. Okay, this is what I was going to show y'all about the steamer. Give me just a second. Hold on. I think this is how the steamer works. This is how I'm pretty sure now. Like I said, don't throw at me the line. Because I might have to. 
Oh, look, I lied then, I think. I must have, okay, I got to figure out how to work this steamer. You know what? Maybe it go like this. I need to ask these people. I need to read the direction how the steamer works. Because I, you know what? It may. I mean, I don't know, honey. See, I guess you put the vegetables here and... I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I'm thinking that's how you cook. You know, the steam goes up, I guess. But, you know, it will be used and figured out. Okay, let me tell y'all something about these pots. Let me show you something. You know, I was telling you how it doesn't stick, right? Now, normally, when we think of, like, frying pans and skillets, and especially, I'm just, okay, let's say, for instance, we baking uh, fries or making some spaghetti or something like that. Okay, so, you know, one of the things you're going to cook first is your meat, your ground turkey. And I, I can use this as an example because I just made some spaghetti probably about a week or so ago. Did I use one of these skillets? No, I didn't. You know what I use? I use this. Because, like, I'm not making a whole bunch of spaghetti because I, you know, for one, I don't really eat a lot of meat like that. That's one. And then, two, I didn't need the skillet. Because when I tell you this stuff is nonstick, it is what it says. I'm telling you what it reads. It is. So, what I did was I let my ground turkey cook in here and this this is a, a boil or a pot or whatever you want to call it i let my ground turkey cook in here let it get done or whatever you know i drain my the, the juice or whatever or whatever the case may be i drain it or whatever but it did not stick did i put any oil or i didn't put no oil none of that i didn't spray nothing i put the ground turkey in here and it cooked yes it cooked so that's the point I'm trying to make. Like, that's a prime example right there. Like, so I can only imagine if the ground turkey didn't stick in this. So what do you expect, with, you know, with the skillets? You get where I'm coming from? So, yeah, that's why I say, I mean, I wouldn't make no big pan because I don't, you know, for one, like I said, I don't eat a lot of meat and no sense in making up a bunch of food like that when I know, I didn't want to, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to be wasting stuff. But that's pretty much what I wanted to cover. So, y'all, I'm looking at this. And this video is almost like 45 minutes. You guys are great. Y'all are like everything. Give y'all a big hug. But, y'all, this is it. I know this was a long video. But I want to thank y'all so much for tuning in. And, don't, and thank you for watching, as always. Don't forget to come back. The Hang Back, Hang with Tina T. So, don't forget to comment, rate, like, share, and subscribe. And just um, comment below. Like I said, if maybe you have the Gotham or maybe if you're thinking about getting, just kind of let me know, you know, what you think. So, yeah. So, y'all, I'm going to say bye for now and I will see you in the next video. And thank you again so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.